Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So if you guys watched the previous video, you'll know I'm doing a hardcore playthrough run for Diablo 4. Uh, goal is going to be hitting level 100. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about kind of what we've done. So in the previous video, I talked about how I primarily leveled with Landslide. Landslide is probably now my favorite druid skill for leveling uh, combined with Poison Creeper. Um, now, this is not my spec anymore, but to just give a little bit of light on why this is so strong. When you have no aspects on Druid, pretty much everything you use feels like shit. <laughs> That's just kind of how it is. So your Poison Creeper, if you put points into it, and you take uh, Ferocious Poison Creeper, and you even go into, like, Call of the Wild, your Poison Creeper is going to do enough damage to almost half health elites throughout your entire time leveling, probably up to, like, level maybe, like, 40. Uh, and one-shot massive packs. The other thing about this is that when you take Landslide and you take Terramote, which is over here on your Primal Landslide, anytime you immobilize an enemy, you gain a Terramote stack. Anytime you use Landslide, it guarantees a crit with guaranteed bonus crit multi, but consumes a Terramote. So when you press your Poison Creeper on 20 monsters, you now have 20 Terramote stacks, which is... 20 guaranteed crits of your landslide anyway we're not talking about though that though so today i wanted to go ahead and show you guys kind of what i'm using right now because we ended up swapping over to pulverize this is what i wanted to play originally um but i just did not have shockwave aspect yet so primary things we have uh damage from earth skills slow the reason this is important is we want to make sure that our pulverize is now an earth skill so that's the synergy we have here then uh, I have went with Earthen Bulwark, gets an extra 6 seconds. That puts our Bulwark from 3 seconds to 9 seconds. Um, I've got increased damage while you have a barrier active. Not the most crazy thing in the world, but it works well with the Earthen Bulwark. Um, damaging an elite enemy grants you a barrier, also synergizes well with the gloves. Um, plus 2 to all of our Earth skills while we're at max fortify for the most part. The pulverized, pulverized shockwave aspect. I found this on a two-handed weapon, so what I plan on doing is when we enter world tier three and I get a good um, sacred weapon base, I'll most likely pull this off and put it on the sacred base, but for now, we're just going to use it. You can see our weapon is level 37, so it's 11 levels behind us, but we're still going to clear just fine. And then over here, I've got crit strike with core skills, increase your attack speed. This was mainly when we were actually... Um, Landslide, it's not as good now because we don't have good crit, but it will be good later. And then core skills deal damage based off fortify, and then the pulverize earth skill. That's really all we're going to cover. I'm sure you guys have seen like 800 different uh, pulverized builds. So I'm going to go ahead and go clear a uh, stronghold for you guys. So let's go see. Actually, this would be a sick dungeon to run. It's got... Um, so actually, you know, prime example of how I've been leveling... If I have been doing my Renown grind since, uh, you know, this is on Hardcore now and I don't have my Renown shared. So anytime I have a map open, or not a map, but a zone that has my quest in it. So this is because I have done a lot of quests. You can uh, get quests that take you into dungeons. And then if you get lucky, the Tree of Whispers also rolls inside the dungeon. So now for completing this, I'll get the Aspect. Uh, that goes on the codex, right? I'll get the quest completion for the renown. Uh, I'll get the renown dump, uh, completion for clearing the dungeon, and then I'll also get the tree of whispers completion. So it's like super, super beneficial, right? All right, so let us go get started. So far, I'm really liking this character. Um, we have not had any close calls yet. I'm sure some will occur at some point, but so far, no curse calls, or curse calls, goddammit, no close calls whatsoever. I also want to take a moment to say, uh, I am not using Grizzly Rage right now. I know a lot of build guides are going to tell you to use Grizzly Rage. I don't think it's very worth it at the super early game. Um, it's pretty much pre-glyphs, and I'll explain why as I'm running the dungeon. So Grizzly Rage is a fantastic ultimate. Right? It grants you unstoppable, um, granted pretty inconsistent, but grants you unstoppable right now. You get damage, you get damage reduction, the damage bonus increases, uh, you get unstoppable, you get fortify. But the thing is, you don't really need a lot of that in the early game, right? We already get a bunch of fortify 
just naturally critting with earth skills, utilizing our earthen bulwark, utilizing our um, blood howl, which could also instead be replaced for, um, you, you could use the uh, the cry that the, the bear has, what a debilitating roar, I think it is. Yeah, that, that works. The main reason that I like using um, blood howl right now is I have like, uh, every time you kill a target, blood howl gets minus one cooldown. And the reason that that is good is I can use it to generate spirit. So you'll notice after I, I hit a few pack of mobs, I'll actually blood howl and I will get some spirit back. So it just kind of makes for a little bit cleaner of gameplay right now, I would say. So anyway, um, instead of running Grizzly, I have opted out to run Petrify. Now Petrify is like a one button wonder. You basically click it, your whole entire screen just immediately basically turns to stone so whenever you're whenever you're like running dungeons and something scary kind of happens that is your oh shit button right you slap that oh shit button down it stuns everything and makes monsters take bonus crit damage very 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 good defensive skill um so basically anytime there's more than like one elite it's a good time to use petrify during the leveling phase uh works out really really well now on top of this um to bring a little bit more light onto the uh the no grizzly you'll notice that on my left click i have storm strike now storm strike is not anything new for grizzly builds or for pulverized builds but the reason why storm strike is so strong is number one do I actually need the mechanical bot? Okay, yeah, yeah, we have to go back here. Number one, it's your only source of vulnerability at the beginning. The only way I could also apply vulnerability is if I were to say drop Blood Howl for Hurricane, in which case Hurricane is like the big AoE around you, which is also not necessarily bad at all. I think Hurricane is a good substitution if you don't want to use Blood Howl. Um, but Hurricane doesn't have 100% uptime, especially at this level, which means there's going to be like inconsistent times, right? You also cannot Hurricane while you're in Grizzly, so this just makes better uptime for your vulnerability, right? The vulnerability is a massive damage multiplier, so in fact, going into Grizzly might actually end up making you lose some damage if you are not high enough level yet. Once you actually have Glyphs, you're going to have access to something called Exploit, and then you have, like, guaranteed Vuln on your first hit, so... Where do I take this? Is it right here? Okay, perfect. I have to say, one of the one of the things I'm most excited for going into World Tier 3, because we still have to do our Capstone Dungeon, is getting higher movement speed rolls, <laughs> uh, and getting a good movement speed roll on the Amulet, because Druid is, unfortunately, pretty slow. I don't know what other skills other classes get. I know Sork, for example, gets Teleport, which feels really good, but I'm definitely limited to just walking. Uh, I do also have Trample. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to wonder why I don't use my Trample. Uh, because we're on HC, I intentionally almost exclusively save the Trample to break out of crowd control. Occasionally, I'll also do that with my Bulwark, but the Bulwark I do actually want to press. But the Trample is like the oh shit button. I have been crowd controlled trample because it provides you unstoppable and you just break out of any cc while also choosing where you want to go which is probably one of the the other good benefits of it so where are the mobs at i'm ready for the next difficulty actually i don't think i am the mobs are really really high level so going into the next difficulty, here's what I plan on doing. Uh, I definitely want to Renown Grind. I might get bored, but I definitely want to snag all of my Paragon Points and all of my Lilith Statues. I barely have any Lilith Statues. I've really slacked on that because I've wanted to uh, full explore the zones first, so it's a lot easier to acquire them. But here's a good Petrify spot right here. Oh, yeah. So what do we have? Three, three Elites? Okay, so we're just going to kind of group them up here into a Petrify. You're dead. And get the Vuln off you're dead. Perfect. So, I want to definitely grab the, um, sorry, the early Paragon points, as they make a pretty big difference defensively for the, the life scaling always helps. Um, on top of that, I am going to go ahead and try to Obel Cap myself. So, Obel Cap is just through running events. And then what I plan on doing is is running the uh or turning the obels in in world tier three to try to get a sacred weapon base now a lot of people are going to say you cannot get a sacred weapon base yet because the, the the little tint on the the gambling doesn't show sacred bases yet however i'm pretty confident that you can still actually get 
a sacred base, that's just more likely for it to appear. Alright, bosses are up. Let's see if we can group them all with a Vuln. Oh yeah, here we go, with a Petrify. Good. One, two, oops, accidentally trampled there. Just wanted to so bad. Okay, let's get the Vuln. There it is. Good, good, good. Yeah, anyway, that has been the leveling so far. It has been an absolute breeze. It's been a lot slower, but still just as strong when I was, uh, not just as strong, but less strong, slower, but still very tanky. I did not feel like I was in danger of dying when we were in the landslide setup, but very happy to be pulverized. Pulverized is very comfy. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I'm pretty excited to cover some new PoE content whenever PoE info drops. Uh, but for now, I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pogs. See you guys all tomorrow.